Iwo Jima was a totally different subject than any of the other landings we had made in the Pacific. And Iwo was the first uh, place where they used three marine divisions at once. Well, my job basically was that of a motion picture cameraman. Uh, Rosenthal was smart. He had a bunk aboard the command ship and he used to come ashore every day in the press boat, go back, back in the evening for a good meal in the shower. And then, but he landed on the fourth day, or D plus four, and uh, he saw the flag going up and he thought that would be a good spot to go up and take a picture. And, and uh, so uh, he was in the boat with uh, now Lieutenant General Howland M. Smith and also the Secretary of the Navy. He walked over to Mount Suribachi and uh, asked any fellows uh, about the flag. They said, well, they had raised the first flag. And, and he said, can I go up? And they said, yeah, you can go up. And so he started up and, and when he did, he ran into two of my men, Bill Janaus, the motion picture cameraman, and Bob Campbell, a still man. And they met Lou Lowry, a Leatherneck photographer, who had taken the picture of the first uh, flag raising coming down and he told him, well, the flag's up, but it's a beautiful view. And so uh, they said, well, we want to go up and take the shots anyway. And my two men had been sent by me because my commanding officer, the general, General Rocky, was going to look for a larger flag because the first flag was too small, couldn't be seen by the troops up north, couldn't be seen by the sh ships at sea, except as a little sliver, so to speak. But he said, I want you to send somebody up there to cover it because it'll maybe become the official flag raising of the whole operation. But don't tell anybody why you're going up that there may be a second flag. You can die to want anybody to get excited about it or the possibility or whatever. And so, uh, but just know that. So they didn't say anything about it. But of course, when they got up there, there was a second flag and it was just being attached to another pole. And both of them got into position just in time and Campbell was smart enough as a photographer to uh, not take the same position as Rosenthal and, and Janaust. He took it off a little bit on the side and a low angle, and he got the two flags, one flag coming down, the other flag going up. They crossed each other. That, that picture was probably more instrumental for a period of time than the actual flag raising because there were so many theories out there that there were not two flags. And that picture dispelled any, any account of that. <laughs>